Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome my dear. Please don't forget to subscribe so we can build our gorgeous community. And guys, today is a super exciting video because I'm actually making a collaboration video with gorgeous Anna Absolu. Of course, I will link her channel down below and right here around here <laughs> wherever but please go follow her and please check out her video on the same topic that i'll be talking about today which is top 10 gourmands so it's our top 10 sweet edible fragrances that we absolutely love these are very sweet very cozy very sexy as well so i'm sure you're gonna be interested and uh, anna on her channel is gonna be doing the same video about her top 10 gourmands as well uh, it's gonna be quite interesting because i'm really wondering if we gonna dabble each other on some perfumes so uh, i can't wait for her video as well so yeah guys check her out and let's begin so the first gourmand that i want to show you is a very very typical gourmand and this is none other but la vie a belle by lancome uh, so guys you know this super hot overhyped fragrance everybody and their mother wear it however i absolutely love it because to me this is definitely not a generic fragrance it became generic just because it has such a great formula that other brands started copying it but to me this was a great great take on iris and to be honest guys uh, i'm not a biggest fan of the other flankers of uh, la vie belle mainly because they actually got rid of the perfect ingredient which um, really made that perfume pop which was iris um, so I have the original the longevity is amazing it's very sweet on praline um, it also um, there's a little bit of patchouli in there but just to basically make the perfume a little bit more long-lasting so I don't mind that um, and yeah it's super sweet um, it's very prominent on iris and praline it has some citrus notes in the beginning but not too much it's basically a gorgeous sweet bomb but very interesting in my opinion so that's la vie Abel by Lancome let me put it here okay the next one let's see what can I show you let me show you a completely different take on gourmands so um, mainly people would consider it being um, fresh summer fragrance but to be honest guys it makes my mouth salivate it's that edible uh, to me it really smells like a gorgeous summer pineapple dessert or pina colada so I definitely consider it a gourmand even though it's fresh it's also very very sweet and this is by Mancera um, and it's called Holidays I like the bottle I must say I really really like the bottle but the um, cap is actually screwed so be careful with that and yeah even though it's very fresh and it's quite aquatic it's very oh even now it literally made my mouth salivate it's so like it's really really unique um, even though you know you you get those like typical notes in here there's coconut um, there's vanilla in here um, I think there's some sandalwood in the dry down um, so yeah it's like summery you know the sand and lotion vibe uh, beachy vibe perfect for you know going to the beach and doing water sports or beach parties whatever but nevertheless to me it's so 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 edible like it literally makes me wanna have a pineapple in my mouth that I had to had to had to put this here because it's very very sweet and very like um, fruity and um, sugary so I highly highly recommend checking it out it's perfect gourmand for summertime I love it for summer so that's Mancera holidays another one uh, is one of my newer fragrances and since I got it, I absolutely loved it. Um, so yeah, Dolce & Gabbana Parfum. And to me, this is a gourmand, uh, mainly because it really smells like a raspberry muffin. It's like this gorgeous, cozy, marshmallow vibe to it. Also vanilla. Mm. 
beautiful fragrance even though it's gold wand it's definitely on the sweet side it's super feminine super classy and super cozy so i highly recommend checking this one out and by the way if you're wondering about longevity because i forgot to tell you um la vie Belle is of course super long lasting uh Mancera holidays i think it's even more long lasting to be ours it's like, it's like to be honest it's 10 hours plus and this one is also very long lasting i would say eight to nine hours so beautiful fragrance okay another is actually um i have two from the same line but they're so different that i wanted to show you both and this is by elisab so the first one is elisab girl of now the original the eau de parfum and this is a nutty almond bomb with lots of tonka bean there's also some bitter orange no blah 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 but you mainly get the almond the nutty notes and a lot a lot a lot of tonka super 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 sweet fragrance gorgeously sweet but to me it's like a night out party fragrance it's definitely on the gourmand side it's very long lasting around eight to nine hours again i highly recommend checking it out if you like those nutty notes you know almond um yeah gorgeous 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 and in the same family we have girl of now forever and uh you ask me a lot which one i prefer i would definitely go with the original i like it way more but this one is also very interesting because this is vanilla it still has um those nutty almond notes in here but it's very very potent on a sour raspberry so you know it really makes it quite interesting super sweet again very very sweet fragrance and it lasts on the skin forever forever so if you like long lasting fragrances and you like those sweet more sour vibes definitely check this one out okay another nutty uh speaking of nutty and sweet and cozy this is one of my favorites for years and this is hypnotic poison by dior i have the eau de toilette version i know many people also ask me about the eau de parfum so let me tell you to me eau de toilette version is like the ultimate gourmand goals eau de parfum can be a little bit harsh because there's a lot of licorice um and it kind of leans a little bit masculine in some places if you know what i mean so uh you have to be super bold to wear all the parfum um this one i don't mind because the longevity is amazing 10 hours plus definitely it will last you all day and this is a super cozy but still very very uh sexy sweet kind of scent oh, it's perfect for winter but also for the nights out um, there's still some licorice that I actually really smelled right now uh, but it's mainly bitter almond vanilla fragrance so it's classified as oriental vanilla but to me it's a very very sweet vanilla with bitter almond so this one is super super sweet super gourmand so um, and it still has this oriental vibe that I like you know so it's basically best of the both worlds so highly recommend checking this one out another one oh it didn't crack but no it's fine <laughs> Lely Soleil um, so this one is also uh, an almond based fragrance um, there's praline to it there's milky notes because so basically it's like a gourmand shake um, but thanks to the um, the very dry down and the very top of the fragrance it makes it quite fruity and zesty and very summer appropriate so it's super interesting fragrance a little bit spicy from time to time oh i love this guys this is so sophisticated so classy uh, you definitely get those milky notes you definitely get this praline note um there is also some coffee which i don't really get but i guess it makes it a little bit more spice-ish um gorgeous gorgeous scent like fruity gourmand bomb it's like one of the best gourmands ever for summertime so that's lalique soleil 
Another one that I want to show you is basically the perfume that I started my YouTube channel with. So it's like my YouTube sister, you know. And um, I got this from my partner and I absolutely love it. This is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And um, this is also classified as Oriental Vanilla, but it definitely needs gourmand. It's extremely sweet. So it's based with... Um, pear, uh, vetiver and vanilla and they only disclose these three notes and I kind of I kind of agree that there might be only three notes but you know you never know oh super sweet very powdery vanilla like a um, spicy powdery vanilla if I if you know what I mean and it's all mixed with that pear that makes it so fruity and like so edible again it made my um, mouth salivate a little bit I love it love it love it love it the longevity is out of the, or out of this world it's definitely one of the best Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances um, I love it way more than Scandal that's my baby I love that bell okay Next one, ah, this is the best summer party fragrance, this is the best evenings out fragrance, I absolutely love this one and this is the Olympia Flanker, Olympia Intense and this is super super sweet but it makes it very sophisticated because of the amber that's in here. So that's just ultimate gourmand. Oh, gorgeous! This oriental amber that's in here makes the fragrance super nicely blended and you still get that very strong salty vanilla from the original. Uh, I think you have to really like sweet fragrances to go for this one. So if you want to have something more universal, more versatile, go for the original. This is definitely on the sweet side, like super sweet side. But I love it, I'm definitely gonna repurchase it and this is like one of my ultimate favorite vanillas gourmands that I have. So that's Olympia Intense. And guys, one last bit is my... Actually, it's my number one at the moment. And this is Montal Sweet Vanilla. Guys, this is hashtag gourmand goals. I love it. I love it. If you like, mm, if you like this powdery, a little bit fake smelling vanilla, you're gonna love this. So this opens up with strong apricot note, but this is a very nice, fresh, sour and juicy apricot. And this is just amazing. And then you are just hit with that gorgeous sweetness of the vanilla. There are just two notes in here, apricot and vanilla. So. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, guys. This is my uh, current number one gourmand that I reach for the most. So, yeah, that's my 10th Montal Sweet Vanilla. So, guys, this is it. Uh, I Actually, I, I did quite well, 13 minutes. Good for you, Paulina. So, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out Anna's video. I'm super excited what she has in store when it comes to gourmands. So thank you so much once again for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram when I post daily. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!